Hello and welcome to episode three hey! of the Cub Chronicle. My name is Philip, and I am joined hey! in here with Carson. What's up, man? How you doing? Yeah. Interested to be here. All right, so in this episode, we're going to have a word of the week and strategy of the week from Miss Lori, and then we're also going to have words of encouragement from our principal, Johanna, as well as an interview with one of our paraprofessionals here, Rebecca Gamble. So let's play the clip from Miss Johanna right now. Now it's time for our daily promise. Wednesday's promise is determination. I will do the things I'm afraid to do, but which I know should be done. Sometimes this will mean asking for help to do that which I can't do by myself. All right, thank you, Miss Johanna. Determination and getting things done and not being afraid to ask for help. Carson, do you ever ask for help when you need stuff to do? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes we all need help. All right, next up, we're going to be talking about and talking with Lori. And Carson's actually in on this video. So her core word of the week this week is go. And her strategy of the week is to model, 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 using the word go to request more for something. And so Carson was in on this video. And you'll see that in the link below the full video. We'll show you an intro right now. Hey everyone. Okay, so it's time for a new core word of the week. And this week's word is going to be go. 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 All right. And our strategy for the week is going to be model, model, model. And why that strategy is important is because typical language learners learn language by hearing. Our nonverbal communicators that are using some other form of communication like pictures or a device or pointing to pictures or eye gaze have to be shown how to communicate. So that's why it's important that we say the word, point to pictures, uh, use those strategies to model the use of the pictures and the words uh, while you are working with your student because they are going to see how you're communicating and they are gonna pick up on that too. All right. Uh, we'll have a demonstration video, and here we go. All right, so if you want to see that full video with Carson doing that demonstration, just click on the link below, and you'll be taken to Miss Lori's page to watch that. Next, I'm going to show a clip where I'm joined by Tylan and Bree out in the courtyard outside where we've been having a garden on our raised beds. Let's play that clip now. So I'm out here in the garden area in our courtyard, and I'm here with Bree and Tylan just to show off these raised gardens beds. And it's late in the season. You can see some of the things that we've been growing during the summer. Dwayne Williams, our school counselor, donated a bunch of seedlings. So in this one, in this bed, we had some okra, some sweet potatoes, and then some cucumber that we've already taken out because it stopped growing. Over in here, we have even more sweet potatoes. And we also had some zucchinis and squash that produce quite a bit during the summer. Isn't that right? We got some good stuff. In this bed, we had a bunch of eggplant that are still even producing. And over in this bed, we had some banana peppers, some basil, and a bunch of tomatoes. And you can see we have grown many tomatoes, and these are just about done. These raised garden beds were donated to us by Kathy Gordon and Amy Belcher. And the soil was actually donated by the Walmart on Ann Street. So just with that, and then the help of all our staff to put this together, we've started to have a pretty good garden. And we're hoping to replant some stuff this fall, this winter, and especially when it comes growing time again this spring and summer. There's also some additional footage and pictures of the construction of our courtyard, how we put it together. some additional pictures of some of the things we grew through the spring and the summer. Yay! Next up, we have an interview with one of our paraprofessionals here in the building, Rebecca Gamble. So let's play that clip. All right, so we're joined now by a paraprofessional here at the Children's Center. Hi, Rebecca. Hi. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I am Rebecca Gamble. I am married. 
I have two sons, one daughter, and one niece who I take care of. I ran my own home daycare through DHR for six years. I have been employed by the Montgomery Board of Education for 10 plus years. Four of those years which we spent in the pre-K department, which is no longer here. I have always had passion for children and the elderly. All right, so describe what you do as a paraprofessional here. My job as a paraprofessional is to assist the students on and off the bus, to transfer them to PE in different areas of the building to feed and assist them with their meals, to lift and change doing wheelchair transfer or the toilet, to assist the teachers and to comply with any other rules and regulations. All right, so what activities do you feel are the most beneficial for the students here at Children's Center? I feel like hand-on-hand -hand activities when they're, with them using their fine and gross motor skills, the sensory activities, to find out what motivates them and the physical therapy and mobility plan that has been put in place for them. All right, thank you. So what is your favorite part of working with students here at the Children's Center? I enjoy working uh, with the children to walking them around, calling them by their name. And to me, by calling them by their name, to let them know that they're somebody and that the only difference between them and myself is that they depend on me to take care of them. I love to do the hand-on activities uh, with them, using the fine motor skills where they will try to paint or uh, write, trying to throw a ball or hit at a balloon, like different uh, things with them. I just enjoy the job that I do with them at the church. Cool, well thank you very much for sharing and appreciate it. Thank you, Rebecca. Carson, what do you think about that? Yeah, man, that was pretty cool. As, as always, thank you for watching. We'll be coming out with more content soon. Carson, say goodbye. All right, everybody.